Tommy Fury. I've been an avid, don't hate on Jake Paul. Give him props where props are due. He takes the fight game very serious. He is developing at a slower pace. He did cherry pick his way up the ranks. However, like every traditional boxer, your first fights are not the best and highest of quality opponents. And it's time to, in my opinion, just give Jake Paul a little bit of credit for truly being a professional. Sure, he talks a lot of shit. Sure, he is boisterous. Sure, he can be obnoxious. Sure, he can be immature. However, one thing you cannot deny is the guy is putting in the work. He finally capitulated to fighting Tommy Fury. Him and Fury were constantly going back, and it seemed like it was inevitable that they would be on a clash with one another. Tommy Fury, having the vaunted and well-renowned Fury name, was tremendously favored. They thought that Tommy Fury would destroy Jake Paul. And then Tyron Woodley and Jake Paul happened. Tommy Fury fought. Jake Paul beat Tyron Woodley in a hotly contested fight. Was it close? I had Jake Paul clearly winning. But you can make an argument for Tyron Woodley. Then Tommy Fury had a very lackluster performance. And then all of a sudden, the narrative changed that it would actually be a competitive fight between Tommy Fury and Jake Paul. After weeks of negotiation, after constant back and forth, after Tommy Fury insulting Jake Paul and vice versa, we had the fight. You had the man that was, I forget what reality show Jake, um, Tommy Fury is on. Oh, Love Island. And you had Jake Paul, who was a YouTuber, someone that, oh, is bad for boxing. Oh, you know, he isn't a real fighter, whatever, whatever that means. I think anybody that gets in the ring is a real fighter. But at the end of the day, he's fighting in a boxing match with a boxer, right? This was supposed to be his test. Yesterday, Tommy Fury releases a video saying that he wants to pull out the fight. Now, after all the shit talk, after Tyson Fury saying Tommy could be sick, ill, broken rib, whatever, I don't know how he prognosticated that that was the case, but evidently Tommy Fury has a bacterial infection and a broken rib. Now, initially when I read this, I'm like, oh my God, this guy's ducking. Can't believe he's pulling out the fight. But you have a bacterial infection in your lungs, you're coughing. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't realize when you do have deep coughs and you do cough, the ribs have a propensity to break. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's the way your body jerks, whatever. But Tyron Woodley, being ready, has been in training, took the fight. He's getting paid half a million dollars. Good for Tyron Woodley. I think he's made more money in the UFC. I mean, he's made more money in the last two fights with Jake Paul. Even has a 500K bonus if he knocks Jake Paul out. Bravo to him in the highlight and the, the twilight of his career. However, I'm not going to lie to you. This makes Tommy Fury look horrible. And I'm not going to be too harsh on the guy and say he's lying, but you're just giving ammunition to Jake Paul. And that's the last thing you want to do. You're buying in, feeding the narrative that Jake Paul will beat you and you're afraid. Because truthfully, I'm not going to lie to you, that if Tommy Fury loses to Jake Paul, I think even Tyson Fury gets an L on his record at this point, right? Because he carries a Fury name. John Fury, Tyson have talked so much shit. Tommy Fury himself has said, oh, I'm going to kill this kid. And then you pull out two weeks before the fight. Biggest fight of your career. And... Now you look like a duck. I know you're sick, and I'm very cognizant of the fact that health is wealth and money is not worth your health. But 
you can't be mad when Jake Paul says you're afraid of him because one, you didn't initially want to take the fight. You thought it was beneath you. You didn't want to get paid the biggest payday of your life to take the fight because you felt you were getting outpriced or underpriced. And then now a week beforehand you, or two weeks beforehand, you pull out. It's not looking good. And the fact that Jake Paul gets the rematch, I don't know if that was in the cards because they also kind of prognosticated that as well. Maybe the fight wasn't as big as people thought. Who knows? But I wish the best for Tommy Fury if he is sick. But you're going to have to shut up and just eat it. No one wants to hear excuses. T.O., favorite fighter, came out with that he had air in his lungs or air in a part of his body that wasn't supposed to. He didn't say anything or he didn't know. Everyone's saying he's making excuses. So just keep the same energy with whatever fighter comes up with an excuse. Because at the end of the day, Tank went into the fight with a hand injury. Fought. Um, Didn't look great. People are saying he's making excuses. But you got to give him credit for sticking it out. In this case, I'm not going to sit here and say that he should fight with a bacterial infection in his lungs or a broken rib. That's kind of silly. You always want to divulge what's going on with you beforehand because after it's all, it's always going to sound like a, an excuse, but in this case, Tommy, no matter what happened, you're going to have to hear Jake Paul's mouth. And I think people are going to have to just hear what this kid has to say until Tommy Fury steps up and fights. Um, I'm sorry. I know it's not a popular opinion, but I think Jake Paul is going to beat Ty- Tommy Fury, and I don't think he was ready for the fight. That's my prognostication and my thoughts on the whole thing. I am not a Jake Paul fanboy. I am not a Tommy Fury hater. I just think in this particular case, something went wrong. He wasn't ready. And when you see People talking about preparation and, oh, look, we're doing this. We're doing that. I got Tyson Fury in the camp. They're they're going so far and beyond to prepare this kid. I think they know that Jake Paul might win and he needs more time. And that's okay because at the end of the day, if he comes out and beats Jake Paul, then it was worth it. You know, it's worth all the shit that he has to hear right now. But, Tommy, you have to realize that. You talk a lot of shit, you're going to have to eat a lot of shit, and that's okay. You know, you going on film saying, oh, I had a bacterial effect. Fine. It may be true. But at the end of the day, you have to eat the shit if you were talking the shit. You know, the reason why the fight didn't happen, Jake Paul was going to be there. He was ready. He was in shape. And that's that. But now we have an interesting fight. I mean, Tyron did give up a good fight. I didn't expect it to be that close. I don't think he won, but I think it was a very good fight. I think it was very entertaining, and I think people are going to buy this fight because Tyron rocked the shit out of Jake Paul. It was the first time we saw Jake Paul look bad. It was the first time we saw him hurt. It was the first time that the people that really don't like Jake Paul got some sort of vindication where he got stuck in the ropes and was hurt by overhand right, if I'm not mistaken. I want to see this fight. I'm I'm going to watch it. I think it's it's good box office. I think it's good for boxing. More eyes, new audience, more casuals. I, I feel like the Javante Tank Davis fight got a lot of buzz because of Showtime and what Showtime's been doing. I feel like people are a lot more interested in boxing. And I'm excited. Um, GT the Great, I know him. Well... Via Instagram, but his trainer, I know um, Tyron's trainer. I wish him the best. I still val- I think Jake Paul's going to win this time. I think he might knock Woodley out. But, Tommy, you got to just eat your L, be quiet, work in silence. I don't want to see you on Instagram talking about, oh, I'm ready for I don't want to see you training. Shut up. Be quiet. Go dark. If you're training, keep training. But you can't pull out again because you just look worse and worse every time. 
that's the episode for today. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Jake Paul is going to beat Tyron Woodley? And if Tyron were to, sorry, not Tyron, if Tommy were to fight Jake Paul, who do you think is going to win? Because I'm leaning towards Jake Paul.